And also in verse 9, about the ages of time, you will notice here that the subject is us. Something was given us in Messiah or through Messiah before the ages of times. So our salvation uh, from even before the, the ages. So there's a few verses throughout the letters of Paul where he makes uh, a similar allusion. Romans 8, for those whom he foreknew, he predestined to become conformed to the image of his son, so that he would be the firstborn among many brethren. These whom he predestined, he also called, again, note the subject, believers. These whom he called, he also justified. These whom he justified, he also glorified. Note the past tenses there. So these things in the mind of Paul, Similar to John, John uses this type of language. Uh, he talks uh, of having the life of the age to come, having the kingdom now, but obviously in an ideal sense, not in the sense that the kingdom is already established on earth. You also have uh, Ephesians 1 verses 4 to 11, being predestined, uh, chosen in Christ uh, before the ages or before time. Uh, Titus 1-2, in the hope of eternal lives of the age to come, the kingdom life, which God, who cannot lie, promised long ages ago. Similar language there to the Timothy. And you have even in the Gospels uh, this talk of inheriting the kingdom uh, that was prepared from the foundation of the world. The point is summarized, I think, well, Anthony, by a quote uh, from Barnes Notes, Second Timothy, the thing was so certain in the divine purposes that it might be said to be already exactly done. Right. And then yep. they tell us to look at that Romans 4, 17, the one who gives life to the dead and calls things into existence yes. that do not exist. And then Barnes continues, that is, those things which he foretells and promises are so certain that he may speak of them as already in existence. Absolutely right. What do you think of that? Oh, I think that's exactly right. There's a word you could throw in as well, Carlos. That would be the word deposit. The spirit is a deposit of that future life. A deposit is something quite tangible. You have that now. You don't have to wait to get the deposit in the future, but the deposit is a down payment of something you're going to get on a much greater scale in the future. So those notes, I think, are exactly right. And let's use the word deposit, not ever to confuse it with the future kingdom when Jesus appears at his future parousia.